It's floating. How are you doing that? No. Making your own magic, my see. <laughs> <laughs> Hello flight crew, welcome to Christmas that is not set up yet. Finally tonight, set up some of our Christmas decorations. We've been wanting to do this for the past couple days. We are so late. We are so late. This is the latest I've ever been on Christmas decorations. I know. Whose fault is that? It's 2020, <laughs> that's that's whose fault it is. Oh, 7.30 at night. My fall mess is still up. Your fall mess is still up. All this lovely foliage, which will be replaced with some garland tonight. I don't know what season it is because this is the desert. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think that like there's a lost season between Christmas and Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and Christmas, like fallness. Fallness? Yeah. I like that name. Where it's like I put a little bit of leaves. I have like a little bit of hints of Christmas. That's why I put up the Harry Potter tree. I just really like this first time I've ever done this this year. Yeah. You know. I like but, it. I'm ready for Christmas. I think I'm officially ready. I was saying, you can just connect all three of those holidays one into the next. Like you can do October, November, December right in a row. Just take a quick break, just get a little breath and get back into decorating. That's what we're gonna do tonight, guys. We are going to decorate as much as we can for Christmas tonight. We were so much in the Halloween spirit and I didn't want to talk about Christmas yet. I wanted to enjoy Halloween while it was here. Uh, Thanksgiving came and went. It was a lot of fun. We had a great Thanksgiving at home that you guys got to experience. So now it's the start of our, you, you could say like a vlogmas attempt. We're gonna try to hopefully record quite a few Christmassy videos this year, just being at home. Just hanging out. Yeah. No pressure. No pressure, you know, because again, unfortunately there's another possible lockdown here in California. and we There is to, a lockdown. There's a lockdown. It's true, I say, I'm trying to, Spin it in a way that makes me feel bad. <laughs> You're like, was it actually announced? Does it happen? Is it act? No, it's not happening then. There's still a lockdown. Guess it. It happened. Yeah, it happened. Happened, it happened. on Monday. And we were supposed to go to downtown Disney. We were. This weekend. And we had a reservation for last Sunday. Yeah. And we saw like in Anaheim how high it went. And we're like, mm mm. Yeah, we really debated. We were going to go to the Buena Vista Street finally, but we we're like, Shh. But we know. didn't go when it opened because nope. it was already too crowded. And if the numbers start to go down, we do have a couple more Carthay reservations. Like, we I do, do want to go there. We have a couple more through December. Keep an eye on the numbers. If we see it go down, then we'll consider, we'll consider, consider it. it. But right now, like, they were so high for November. Yeah. It was like after Halloween, you could tell. It was like... <sighs> oh, yeah. It was, it was crazy. But regardless happier notes. <laughs> happier notes we're home and we're gonna decorate for christmas so I need to get the decorations out oh that means i gotta go in the closet and pull everything out <laughs> okay all right <laughs> go, go to neverland okay i'll be back neverland parrots yeah. we already have the tree out i know but this is a game of tetris we need to oh. pull all the pieces out if we're going to get to the other pieces what's the tetris song do you remember it no 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 that's, that's... no <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> God, I'm gonna lose this game. You look more like Wreck-It Ralph today, though. So, I'm gonna wreck it! I don't know what, this sounds like Bollywood music for some reason. I liked my Harry Potter tree. Yeah, it was so much fun having this up. Well, I think we're gonna do, we've always had this little white tree. Mm -hmm. And I think we're gonna see if there are I mean, again, we're on lockdown in LA. Well, not lockdown, but we're they're really limiting what you can buy right now, like yeah. like shopping and stuff like that. So we're gonna see if we can get a real Christmas tree to do our Star Wars tree. This is just gonna be like Disney miscellaneous tree. Yeah. I guess. All the other things that Disney owns. All the other things. <laughs> That's the thing again. What did we buy last year well, we for decorating? Some, this year too, we bought these ornaments to kind of hang. Cause they're kind of like oh yeah mid-century just got those at michael's you look cuter than the child in those whites so cute oh Aww. my goodness you ready for christmas you're about to pull the sleigh in style <gasps> look at you wow. ready for your catnip <laughs> bag <laughs> <laughs> he got stopped by a bag. We don't have to get him much for Christmas. We just need to get him a bag from the stuff that we get ourselves. A cardboard box, a bag. He's good. You want some nip nip? You want some cat nip? 
No, you, oh my gosh, no. <laughs> no. So most cats like rubbing themselves in catnip. Goober just eats it. I don't give him too much. I'm not gonna... What are you doing, buddy? Calm down. He's holding on to it oh so God. tight. I can't, I'm trying to pull it away from him. I can't. We've got some of the decorations up. We've got some of the garland up. But boy, this is relaxing just laying here on the ground. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, boy. He's in heaven now. I'm sorry. Hmm? Were you invited to this party? <laughs> That's all I know is <laughs> It's Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Looks like you're in a bit of a a, a tangle. You got stuck on back. <laughs> you helping out, buddy? He just came and snuggled up with this ornament. Now I, we can't hang it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's now officially his ornament. Oh good. Well, you're gonna have to string that one up, buddy. So we're It's hard to see, but we're with invisible string like we did for Harry Potter night, we're hanging up the ornaments. We've got a good, like, mixture. This was like a good set for the price. Yeah. It was like, this is, it says 30, but I think they were like 50% off. Yeah, everything was on sale when we went. $15 for all of these. Enjoy it. Oh, well, we had to take Goober's ornament away so we could hang it up with the other ones. Got four of them up. And just on YouTube, listening to old vintage Christmas songs. Some of them are kind of sad. <laughs> the last one we heard about, like, a little boy that Santa forgot to visit. He didn't have a dad. Yeah, what it was, the like, heck? the saddest song in the world. <laughs> Look how big Santa Claus is. That's, like, terrifying. How does he fit down that chimney? Or did the kid shrink? I'm very confused, actually. What's going on in this story? Perfect Christmas. This looks like a nightmare. Go on the roof and go down giant Ho, 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 children. <laughs> Go on, children. Get up on the roof. <laughs> Nothing will happen. Get out of here. Scram. <laughs> Ashley's on string duty. <laughs> Whoa, magic. It's floating. How are you doing that? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> making your own magic, my see. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to do this at home. It's just like fishing line. And just really, basically just taping it to the ceiling. Doesn't take a lot to do, uh, but it looks really cool from a distance. You don't really notice the string, and it's really, really, really pretty to look at these lights just spinning around. Lights, ornaments, what am I saying? This magical disco ball that's making me say things incorrectly. Ooh, looks so cool though. It's such a great idea. I'm glad we did this with our Hogwarts night for the candles. We have practice. Yeah, that was like a total practice. We finished putting the ornaments up above the tree, and Ashley again put all these wonderful ones in the front of the credenza. Above the tree? What are you talking about? Oh, above the tree. <laughs> above the TV. <laughs> That's the tree. That's the TV. That's Ashley. And I'm Brian, and we're setting up Christmas decorations really late at night. Over Christmas decorating? <laughs> no. You've been grouchy all night. We have pizza. I am so tired. Being so grumpy. <laughs> Being a Grinch. Oh my gosh. I need the Christmas spirit, Ashley. Here's the Christmas Help spirit. Me. Help me. <laughs> Help me. I need the Christmas. You gotta help. Oh no. Oh no, I bent my blaster. <laughs> oh, we like punch these holes in these toys you can't find anymore. We put screws in all of their heads. Because we wanted solo ornaments. <laughs> Brian. What you sign? Just, you just have to believe. Buy all the best Always Believe merch right now, guys. At your local Michaels and Target. Like, wherever Christmas decorations are sold. <laughs> <laughs> just write always on always it. And it's, says, it's Always Believe merchandise. Like, how do you repair snow globes? Um, we need more water and, like, I'm afraid to I don't know. It. I don't know if you... Can easily. Never done it. Hey, we could take it to like a. The snow globe shop. repairman. You know where snow globe repairman is? No. He's, I've had him since I was a kid. This is like really old. Oh. I've been like so sad I haven't had a Christmas mug to use yet. These are all the Christmas coffee mugs. Actually, we don't have that many. Only yeah. four. Well, that's, that's fine because no. we have so many. What? 
just got excited thinking about that. We only had four. <laughs> so there's one at Target I really wanted. This is my favorite one I got last year. Oh yeah! Slit all day. Oh, I love cups like this that are like, uh, that look like camping mugs almost. Mm -hmm. Really great. Oh, it's nice and heavy. We bought all three of these the year we moved in together. I was like, we don't really have any Christmas mugs, so. I came into the relationship with tons of Halloween mugs, but. <laughs> but no Christmas mugs. I have any Christmas mugs. That's so good. Oh my god. You guys go to Trader Joe's. It's really good Do for Christmas. Do people say the bomb in here? You can bring it back, Ashley. <laughs> bring it like back. That, that ate me so bad. <laughs> that ice cream is P H A T. Oh my gosh. It's all that in a bag of chips. Oh, that in a bag of chips. Cool, cool beans. <laughs> it's it's hella good. Hella good? <laughs> it's tubular twisted holiday fun. It's a candy cane JoJo's ice cream, so it's got like peppermint. Oreos. Yeah, it's peppermint, like candy cane flavored. There's fudge in there too. Oh, there you go. Oh my gosh. It's like a wave of fudge. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have big pieces of it now. We've definitely eaten a lot of ice cream this past year. I know, I went to go get us both a bowl and you're like, oh, I, I don't need any. I knew what was up. I was like, there's none left. It's so good. But we've been eating a lot of ice cream this past year. What is something you guys have been snacking on? What's been your comfort food what's for 2020? What's been your comfort food for 2020? That's a good question. Leave it in the comments below. We want to know, what's your comfort food? I've made a lot of cookies too. Yes, you have made a lot of cookies. I love cookies though, so that's that's totally cool. Mm -hmm. We we started eating ice cream at Disney a lot, and I just fell back in love with it. I avoided it for so long. We avoided oh, so a lot good. of things for so long to start doing it. This is true. Now it's my fault. Oh no, it's your fault that I have so much fun. <laughs> so far, again, we've we've done the stuff over the TV, gotten some pillows going. I figured Jack can be by the happiest season of all for you. That's a good one. The happiest season of all! Partially because I've been kind of tired and grumpy, uh, we decided we're gonna actually decorate the tree on another night because I wanna be awake for doing that part and, and really enjoy it. For now though, Ashley already put the star on top of the tree, the uh, kind of Sputnik star. It's very beautiful. And we have a yeah. few a few lights strung across it. Hopefully like this weekend we can go get a tree tree. Yeah. If there's any tree farms open. Not yeah. like tree farms. We don't have tree farms. Yeah, yeah, we, we have lots. Around here. We have tree lots. We have parking lots. <laughs> we have in front of a CVS and a tree for 40 bucks. See, I grew up in Connecticut and they actually had like tree farms you can go to and cut down a tree in the snow, like the ultimate Christmas kind of experience. Tell them what I found out about snowflakes yesterday. Oh my gosh. Why, <laughs> why not? I, at first when she said this, I thought she was joking, but then I realized I grew up in the East Coast. I've seen snow. I've held it close to my eyeballs. You've never done it before. No. What? Uh, You're so close to me. Well, over here. Here's some snow. Okay. Here's some. What did you learn about snowflakes yesterday? From They're, what was it on TikTok or? It was Instagram? a TikTok. Like somebody showed like the snowflakes landed softly, and they had like a a, a really close up lens on them. They actually like look like the shape that you see snowflakes. Like we don't have any around here. Yeah. But, like the cartoon or the drawings. Like like the paper cut ones. Yeah. Even. I thought that was just like. An artistic rendition just of like what a, snowflakes look like. Almost like a heart is not exactly like right. a heart shape. I didn't know like they actually looked like Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crystals, like they actually crystallize like that. Well, it's just... I didn't know that. Oh, that here's a good example. Crystal. We have one inside this box. But it's, it's, it's that weird thing I take for granted growing up in the East Coast with snow. That... I think you're just... Sorry, I'm popping these things. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you were just really excited to know something I didn't know. I was just like, it's such a magical thing about Christmas and winter and you didn't know. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's like a little bit of innocence that I get to explain to you right now. But I remember that Christmas at your parents, yeah. or no, your, your brother's, where we went for the first time and it snowed on like, it was like Christmas Eve morning. Yeah. And I was like, it's snowing! Oh, I know. And I was freaking out and nobody cared. <laughs> nobody cared. <laughs> <laughs> my... Because, uh, yeah, it's it's not as new to us, unfortunately. What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> it's freaking out. Oh. The only snow I knew of was the snow from the Main Street Christmas fireworks show. You mean the, the soap? With the little pole. <laughs> <laughs> the pole. And one year we were waiting. It was the first year they did the snow at Main Street. I was yeah. there with my cousin. 
and we're like, yes, like they had shown it on the commercials, like people frolicking in the snow on Main Street and we're like, it's happening. And we're sardined with all these people and they're like, Christmas is coming, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, da, 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 da. And then the pole is just like, <laughs> it just trickles down. It was just like, <laughs> it didn't do anything. <laughs> it didn't even spray. It was like <laughs> <laughs> sometimes snow comes out like that. <laughs> it was not magical. Well, I did. I remember one time I was there and I was like, I want to taste the snow. And I was like, eh. and it's just, it's totally soap. It's like little bubbles. Did you eat it? I tried, and then I was like, oh, gross. I didn't think about it. I was like, what are they doing? How are they doing this? <laughs> oh my God, right. We got advent calendars open. Oh, we do. We'll do that really quick. Um, we got three of them. Oh my gosh, it's right. What's the other? What's the third one we have? We have the Back to the Future one. Mm -hmm. This is the first advent calendar we opened last night. This is the Back to the Future Playmobil edition, and we got Marty McFly as our first advent calendar uh, gift yesterday. This took forever too. We had to open up this cardboard sort of diorama and like unfold it and make it into City Hall. That was kind of a pain because <laughs> kind of there was only one little instruction sheet. And we thought that was all we had to work with. And There's where is it? It's here there somewhere. There's a whole book fillet. On oh my the gosh. Side. Yeah. So yesterday we were thinking we, we had only this instruction sheet to like build this entire diorama. And we're like, okay, we'll just figure it out. And then we finally finished it and we looked inside the box as usual. And there's an entire instruction booklet. And we just felt stupid for not paying attention again. <laughs> oh, can you hand me the box? Hello, play crew. This is Commander Goober here. Don't touch, God, don't touch me! Jeez, no, <laughs> He's still mad about Thanksgiving and all that turkey. Oh boy, dear. He loves you. Goober says hello, flight crew. He misses you guys. Hopes you're doing well. Goober talks about the flight crew all the time. Happy Christmas, Ashley! Happy Christmas, Brian! Huh? I got presents! <laughs> <laughs> For day two. What is it? Oh, it says guitar, I think. Look at that. So what'd you get? I got a guitar for Marty McFly. Oh, thank God. He was looking so bored over there. No, he's, just like, he's just here by himself <laughs> with his cool guy glasses. Hey, McFly! <laughs> cool bracelets for him? Maybe like, yeah, maybe like cool rock and roll bracelets or something. Like his cuffs? Oh, it's his cuffs to roll his sleeves up. Oh, they're his sleeves. That is so cool. Are you sure? Yeah, it's the inside of his sleeves. Oh my gosh. How clever. That's such a fun way to make it look like that. Bring me my book. Gouria really thinks it's his. <laughs> <laughs> this one's awesome. It's like really, really nicely made. I, it seems like it's reusable. We were thinking yesterday. Yeah, it's, it, they just come with these little paper ornaments. Yeah. It's like a pop-up book. Yeah, like the entire thing pops open. We got Jack Skellington yesterday for the first day. That's not, uh, that's Jeff's, that's Jack Skellington. We've got his pumpkin hat on. Yeah, the pumpkin king. The pumpkin king. It's kind of funny looking at this baby Yoda. I kind of feel like he's got not so much a cute look, but more of a constipated look like a little baby. <laughs> like he's eating too much holiday much chocolate. Chocolates? Yeah. These chalk chocolates? Yeah, he does look like he needs to go poopies. Okay, we're going to open this one on Instagram for you guys. Well, we got a baby Yoda door this time, and it's just another Star Wars chocolate. I think they're going to be all the Star Wars chocolates. You think so? Probably. How much money has this dang show made them that they can't afford the different chocolate stamps? Well, we've got a lot of Christmas decorated so far, but mm -hmm. I think we're going to call it a night. Yeah, so we're going to decorate the, the white tree that we had all the Harry Potter stuff on, and... Hopefully we can go to a tree farm if we can get out and they're still open with the lockdown stuff. Thank you guys for joining us tonight and having fun and setting up some of the Christmas. We'll see you guys real soon. Bye.